What if I told you that NASA took part in developing weapons so extreme they could destroy entire cities without a single nuclear bomb? Sounds like science fiction. But it is real. Very real. And the worst part is nobody talks about it. We are not talking about telescopes or spacesuits. We are talking about projectiles that fall from space at the speed of sound, invisible lasers that melt targets without a trace, and orbital platforms that could end the world before an alarm ever sounds. Today on TechZNX, you will discover the seven most extreme, secret, and devastating weapons tied to NASA. Real projects, space technology turned into pure destruction, and systems so advanced that, if activated, they could change the fate of humanity in seconds. So get ready, because what you are about to see already exists, and it is aimed at the planet from above. Let's begin. Top 7. Excalibur Excalibur was a classified project that joined two giants, NASA and the United States Department of Defense. Its goal was as clear as it was terrifying – to create a nuclear device that would not explode like ordinary bombs, but would instead fire concentrated beams of energy from space. Like a nuclear laser cannon. Yes, you heard that right. The idea was to detonate a small nuclear charge in orbit, but instead of destroying everything around it, channel the explosion into focused beams of X-rays or directed radiation a sort of orbital sword that could cut incoming warheads in mid-flight. Why was NASA involved? Because only they knew how to put such a monster into space without it detonating prematurely. Excalibur relied on millimetric precision, orbital timing, and spacecraft-level structural design. The plan was to place Excalibur in low orbit, wait silently, and if a nuclear threat was detected, fire several beams of radiation at light speed destroying enemy warheads thousands of kilometers away. But here's the chilling part. Although the project was officially canceled, parts of its technology were absorbed into current laser defense programs and orbital platforms, which means that, in some form, Excalibur might still be alive. It is not a bomb that levels cities, but it is an invisible sword, waiting in space to intercept, to strike, or to be converted into the most lethal precision weapon ever mounted above Earth. Top 6. Project Argus In 1958, NASA was barely finding its feet and was already collaborating with the military on one of the most extreme experiments in history. Project Argus Its declared goal? To detonate nuclear devices in the upper atmosphere to study radiation effects on communications. But what was really being tested was darker, a way to generate electromagnetic pulses from space capable of collapsing satellites, power grids, and entire electronic systems with a single explosion. The data was clear. A high-altitude detonation can generate an energy field so brutal it can destroy everything that runs on electricity across thousands of kilometers. No smoke, no visible blast, but suddenly everything goes dark. Radars, hospitals, planes, military bases, total digital silence. This is where NASA came in. The agency was key to launching sounding rockets, probes, and detection systems to measure the real EMP effect from the atmosphere, all under the guise of scientific research. But in truth, they were testing the concept of invisible warfare, high-altitude nuclear weapons ready to turn your country off without physically destroying it. And although Project Argus ended quietly, the knowledge it produced lives on in many modern programs. Today, any satellite armed with a nuclear payload could recreate that same effect from orbit and return an entire city to the 19th century in an instant. No explosions, no bombs, no warning. Can you imagine a world going dark in a single heartbeat? Someone already designed that, and they tested it from the sky. Top 5. Nahal Forget Movie Lasers This is not science fiction. This is Nahal, a high-energy laser system born from real NASA research into optical space communications, but repurposed into a silent weapon capable of melting vehicles, aircraft, and strategic targets without leaving evidence. 
It started as a peaceful project. NASA developed space lasers to transmit data from probes millions of kilometers away. But the destructive potential was so brutal, the military quickly took notice. Thus, the concept of orbital laser weapons was born, based on what NASA had already tested. Satellite-mounted systems able to concentrate a beam onto a point on Earth and heat that target to thousands of degrees in seconds. Tanks? Melted? Drones? Incinerated mid-flight? Critical infrastructure? And reduced to ashes with no explosion, no shockwave, no trace. And the most disturbing part, there is no way to stop a laser fired from space. You cannot see it coming. You cannot intercept it. And when it hits, it is already over. Nahal is not theoretical. It has been tested successfully on terrestrial, airborne, and orbital platforms. And while NASA never called it a weapon, its technology was the direct basis for current directed energy weapon programs that are now in development, and in some cases, deployment. Imagine a silent satellite receiving coordinates from the ground and unleashing an invisible beam that destroys without a signature. No crater, no missile, just ashes where life once was. That, my friend, is no longer the future. It is the present. Top 4. NTPX It sounds like an advanced space propulsion system, but in reality it is far more dangerous the first nuclear thermal propulsion system that can be used as a global hypersonic weapon. NASA, together with the Department of Defense, has long worked on a project called NTPX, a vehicle that, instead of conventional fuel, heats hydrogen with a nuclear reactor to generate thrust at brutal speeds. But the real problem is not speed, it is military potential. An NTP rocket can reach speeds above Mach 20 and carry a payload of several tons to any point on the planet in minutes. We are talking about an orbital platform that could release a warhead from the atmosphere and have it strike the other side of the globe before anyone reacts. DARPA and NASA even signed agreements in the Draco project, explicitly acknowledging that nuclear thermal propulsion has both civilian and military applications. And here is the most brutal truth. These nuclear engines do not need to be launched from the ground. They can be installed in satellites, autonomous ships, or even orbital strike stations, with autonomy to remain in orbit for years waiting. The militarization of NTP means you no longer need ballistic missiles. You can have a space-borne craft with a nuclear engine and an order to unleash hell. No ballistic trajectory, no early warning alarms, no time to respond. And if you thought hypersonic missiles were terrifying, imagine one coming from the void at Mach 20. That is not transport. That is an orbital silent attack. Top 3. Rods from God They do not explode, and they do not need propellant. Yet their impact can destroy an underground bunker, annihilate a military facility, or level an entire city like a cardboard structure. Rods from God the so-called kinetic bombardment concept, is one of the most feared orbital weapon ideas of recent decades. And the scariest part is that it is not science fiction. It has been discussed by the Pentagon, tested at reduced scale, and is technically feasible with today's space technology. The idea is simple and devastating. Place in orbit a series of satellites armed with solid tungsten rods, an ultra-dense metal heavier than steel, roughly 6 meters long. These rods carry no explosives and no propulsion. They simply fall. When released from orbit, they accelerate to hypersonic velocities under gravity and strike with a force equivalent to a tactical nuclear detonation, but without blast wave or radioactive residue. One of these rods on impact could penetrate 20 or 30 meters of reinforced concrete destroy a nuclear silo, collapse an underground command center, or leave a crater the size of a building. What was NASA's role? While the concept originated with the Department of Defense and DARPA, NASA provided orbital studies, gravitational calculations, and the technical feasibility analysis required to place and maintain such masses in orbit. Without that know-how, this weapon would never have moved beyond theory. 
The most disturbing thing is how silent it would be. No radar detection, no anti-missile system capable of intercepting it, and from activation to impact there are only seconds. For the target, there is no warning, only an enormous mass of metal dropping from the sky at speeds above Mach 10, and an impact that erases the objective as if it had never existed. Officially, rods from God have not been deployed. But many defense agencies admit the main reason it has not is the fear of a full-blown space war. Cross that line, and this will be one of the first weapons we see fall. There will be no explosion, only absolute silence followed by a crater that tells the whole story. Top 2. Project Orion If you thought you had seen everything, wait. During the Cold War, NASA, together with defense physicists and atomic engineers, proposed one of the most outrageous and potentially destructive projects in aerospace history, Project Orion. The idea was shocking yet real. Build a gigantic spacecraft and propel it with controlled nuclear explosions. Literally detonate atomic bombs one after another under the vehicle and use each blast's force to push the craft into space, as if hell itself were thrusting it forward. The design required a heavily armored pusher plate capable of withstanding hundreds of consecutive explosions, cushioned by a hydraulic shock absorption system. Each device would detonate about 50 meters away, producing a pulse of energy that would propel the ship without destroying it. Calculations suggested Project Orion could carry hundreds of tons of payload, reach unprecedented speeds, and possibly travel to other planets, even leave the solar system in a matter of weeks. But here is the truly chilling part. While the official goal was exploration, internal documents show that its military potential was also evaluated. A nuclear-propelled ship could not only move fast, it could carry an absurd amount of warheads anywhere on the planet from orbit in minutes, without the possibility of interception. In the 1960s, there were scale tests, full simulations, and orbital calculations. Prototypes were even designed. The only thing that stopped it was the signing of the Outer Space Treaty and nuclear test bans, because, frankly, nobody wanted a nuclear bomb launcher orbiting above the atmosphere. Technically, however, it was possible. And if those restrictions were ever lifted, Project Orion could be resurrected as the first orbital attack platform in history. A ship that is not just a carrier of weapons, it is a weapon. A titan pushed by nuclear blasts, capable of raining destruction from the stratosphere without detection, without stoppage, and without warning. Top 1. DART In September 2022, NASA executed one of the boldest missions in its history. It launched a direct-impact spacecraft against an asteroid at more than 22,000 kilometers per hour, and successfully altered its trajectory. The mission was called DART double asteroid redirection test, and its stated objective was clear – develop a planetary defense system capable of protecting us from dangerous asteroid impacts. But behind the technical jargon and optimistic press conferences, DART reveals something deeper and potentially terrifying. We now have the ability to turn a natural space object into a weapon of mass destruction. Think for a second. If we can divert an asteroid so it does not collide with Earth, we can also redirect one so that it does. And we are not talking about moon-sized rocks. A single rock, 100 meters across, intentionally directed, could release energy equivalent to hundreds of nuclear bombs, leveling a city in seconds and leaving a crater indistinguishable from a natural catastrophe. The scariest part is that such an attack does not look like a missile. It emits no electronic signature. No radar identifies it as a threat. No anti-missile shield detects it until it is already too late. A tiny correction to a natural object's trajectory, made with a DART-like probe, could launch a cosmic bullet at any point on the planet with perfect stealth. This is where the real danger of DART begins. If this technology is militarized, and analysts already warn that process may have quietly started, we would face the first orbital, silent, and untraceable attack system in human history.
We are not talking about bombs, lasers, or hypersonic missiles. We are talking about manipulating the solar system itself, using celestial bodies as projectiles, opening the door to a kind of weapon that leaves no human trace. And the most disturbing fact, the technology already exists. It was tested. It worked. Now it depends on who has access to it and what they decide to do. There you have it. The seven most extreme, destructive, and secret weapons born from NASA-related space technology. From projectiles falling like meteorites to nuclear platforms capable of erasing cities without a trace and systems able to redirect an asteroid into a silent, unstoppable weapon. This is not fiction, not speculation. These are real projects, documented, developed with military collaboration, and tested quietly high above our heads. Now the question is for you. Do you think any of these weapons could be used in a real conflict? Which one did you find the most terrifying? Leave your answer in the comments, and if this video shocked you as much as it did us, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, because at TechZNX, what's coming next will be even more brutal.